government have spent several millions of CDs in an attempt to address the problem, but there has been no significant improvement in the situation. The most popular forms of interventions undertaken by government has been to dredge the Odor River, which has been constrained as a drain. With heavy volumes of a downpour, surface runoffs, overflows and destruction of settlements, the plight of many who have lived in the catchment area of the Odor have been a sad spectacle. In 2019, a $200 million facility from the World Bank was approved by Parliament for the implementation of the project in Accra. Five years down the line, this is the extent of work done so far. At Alugushi, four huge culverts are being constructed by Memphis Metropolitan, but only two have been worked on currently. Within the same vicinity, First Kai is constructing a storm drain that will contain runoffs from the Achimota ABC area through Alogboshi and terminating into the Odor. The minority NDC MPs on the Works and Housing Committee visiting the site are questioning what they allege as government diverting the funds for the project. We came to the site around February, but we were able to start work around March because due to the we removal of the railway lines for us to get access to work on the line. But we are within the time. Now you have not been able to account for the earlier money and you are looking for additional money. That Your guess is as good as mine. That means the money is nowhere. And that is where we should be very much concerned of because earlier, uh, had, uh, 65 million, according to them, they channeled that money into COVID accounts. So uh, Auditor General requested that that money should be refunded to the state. They have not done it. And when we question that, it's, oh, just approve the 150 million so that we can use part of that to cover the 65, uh, the, uh, the, the 65 million. And I don't know where that kind of concept, I don't, I don't even know where that, that thing came from. They moved shortly to the Aquitam site where the first sky group was constructing drains and other ancillary works. Dredge masters are required to dredge the odor as part of the project. The reason why this has been referred to us was the fact that the minority stood its ground, that we're not going to approve it. That was why the speaker directed that we should visit the site. And so we are we have visited the site now and we are still standing by our word that nothing has been done. I think beyond requesting for the project to be completed, there should be proper auditing of this project. World Bank should send auditors, engineers to audit this project. Why should we spend so much money and nothing to show forth on the ground? So auditing must be done. Otherwise, the World Bank themselves are complicit. Parliament has been recalled to consider a $150 million facility to cater for the Garrett project, despite an initial $200 million support from the World Bank. Until then, this hangs in the balance as Parliament will sit on Friday for that emergency seating to consider the amount of 150 million US dollars for the project. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Kole Lagoon.